the thorny issue of illegal gambling that deprives government of millions in lost income was raised by House Appropriations Panel in playing devil's advocate to the PCSO's requested outlay for next year. Our Daniel Manalastas dwells on the requested funds by nation's major players in the gaming industry and the revenue numbers they posted over the first half of the year in this report. House lawmakers didn't waste the opportunity to ask the Philippine Charity Sweepstakes Office on the issue of illegal gambling as the PCSO faced them during the budget briefing. According to PCSO Chairman Juni Kuwa, a law enforcer's sincerity is very much needed to respond to this kind of problem. He also asked Congress to pass legislations that can possibly end this phenomena. I think this is an issue that needs also to be studied by Congress. Baka may way, by way of legislation, na ma-minimize kung hindi ma-eradicate ang illegal. So maybe some kind of legislation that will really uh, force, hindi pa rin nawawala ang kultura ng uh, illegal. Yung kultura na na to make a fast back. Hindi pa naiiwasan yung collusion and conspiracy. Ang law, uh, ang law enforcement is still very bad. In Kuwa's estimate, illegal gambling causes 30 to 40 percent opportunity loss. PCSO is targeting ticket sales to reach 55.78 billion pesos next year. Kuwa reported that they are helping to increase job and health programs for our fellow men. The congressman recognized the contribution of the agency to help amidst the pandemic. Today, although the pandemic is not yet over, the challenge that we in government face is captured in two words, economic recovery, and PCSO continues to play a critical role in this endeavor. According to the PCSO, they have helped over 110,000 Filipinos from January to June 2022, amounting to 850 million pesos. And they said that Lotto and Small Town Lottery contributed in job generation. The congressmen have ended the budget hearing on the PCSO. Meanwhile, during the budget hearing of the PAGCOR, Lawmakers inquired about the controversial isabong, which even then President Rodrigo Duterte ordered the stoppage of this game. However, the PAGCOR said they are not the only ones to decide on the matter. Hindi naman po kami din lamang ang mag mag uh, decision nito. Uh, I, I honestly, uh, well, I, I was saying earlier we will have to to uh, get the. Um, signal from President uh, BBM about this matter. Daniel Manalastas for The Nation.